Coming up on this edition of Able de la Nair, we talk about the COVID uptick 2024, precautions that you should take, especially when visiting a hospital. All that and much more when Able de la Nair starts right now. Major sponsors for Ableton On Air include Washington County Mental Health, where hope and support come together. Media sponsors for Ableton On Air include Parkchester Times, Muslim Community Report, www.thisisthebronx.info, Associated Press Media Editors, New York Parrot Online Newspaper, U.S. Press Corps, Domestic and International, Anchor FM, and Spotify. Partners for Ableton On Air include Yihad of New York and New England, where everyone belongs, the Orthodox Union, the Division for the Blind and Visually Impaired of Vermont, the Vermont Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired, Central Vermont Habitat for Humanity, Montefiore Medical Center of the Bronx, Rose F. Kennedy Center of Bronx, New York, Albert Einstein College of Medicine of the Bronx. Able and On Air has been seen in the following publications. Parchester Times, www.thisisthebronx.com, New York Pirate Online Newspaper, Muslim Community Report, www.h.com, and the Montpelier Bridge. Ableton On Air is part of the following organizations. The National Academy of Television, Arts, and Sciences, Boston, New England chapter, and the Society of Professional Journalists. Welcome to this edition of Able Den On Air, the one and only program that focuses on the needs, concerns, and achievements of the differently able. I've always been your host, Lauren Seiler. Arlene is not here today. She's recuperating in rehab. We would like to thank our sponsors and partners, the Association of the Blind Vermont, the, uh, the Division for the Blind Vermont, uh, Parrot TV, and many, many, many others. Um, let's begin. Uh, there has been a uh, COVID uptick uh, recently, especially in hospitals and when visiting a rehab. You will see that staff is wearing masks and, and sometimes um, some of the residents are wearing masks or clients. Um, so according to um, our friends at PBS, news hour um covid is surging again and here's what to know and why experts encourage caution the u.s is experiencing another covid uptick infections uh after the holidays with hospitalizations rising for the eighth week in a row a new dominant variant called j n dot one j n uh JN1 has quickly spread to account more than 60% of cases. Um, and uh, to let you know that. So, precautions when, let's go to precautions in COVID. Uh, so, um, here is a kit. If you need, uh, help with, um, 
learning how to use a um, COVID kit. Um, well, this was for 2023, but we can also use this for 2024. Um, I think, um, no, this is the wrong one. Let's not use this. Tips and oops, tips and disabilities. Let's do that. Okay, there we go. Okay. Um, so the the um, this past December third was. Um, was the International Day for People with Disabilities. Many people around the country are dealing with COVID. So um, let's uh, go. You must have access to health services. Initial health services is still in some countries inaccessible for people with disabilities who tend to have more health care needs. Um, such as international countries and so on. So um, for people who have COVID who tend to have more health care needs than normal times, now health services, which are often insufficient in, in poorer countries or poorer places, have become harder to access due to the COVID restriction. Um, measures are because of medical staff, um, hospitals and nursing homes uh, don't have adequate medical staff sometimes. Um, and there has been like COVID um, restriction measures because of medical staff and focused on responding to the pandemic. Discrimination and stigma has intensified during the pandemic. Medical staff may um, deny uh, health care to persons with disabilities, um, it, uh, but um, let's hope they don't do that. And um, during the pandemic, it intensified. A lot of things were closed. People with disabilities can see the health. If, if you see your health status worsening, um, risking complications and additional um things, uh, and functional ability. There's a website that I'm looking at, www.highus.org, H-I, which is, um, stands for Humanity and Inclusion. It's a, a, a website around the world. Humanity and Inclusion supports people with disabilities <coughs> that are often left out during a crisis response. Um, so um, this is very important. Um, raising awareness for, now this is in Nepal, but around the world um, there are um, services for people with disabilities to access. But uh, inadequate awareness, raising awareness for COVID-19. People with uh, disabilities are often left out um, in COVID, uh, left out of adequate medication and things like that. Um, for instance, um, if, if people need to find out about COVID-19, a lot of the, um, a lot of uh, leaflets or things that are accessed are not accessible due to not having large print. Um, so let's, but let me go to the Vermont Department of Health, which is important. Okay, hold up. No, 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 wrong one. Oops. 
Hallelujah. All right. So let's go to um, COVID stuff here for the Department of Health. Okay, there we go. Let's get to COVID stuff. Okay, COVID-19, this is the Department of Health. COVID-19 uh, is a disease caused by the SARS-CoV-2 virus first surfaces. Um, that deal, let's, let's go here. There we go. Um, COVID-19 is a disease caused by the SARS-CoV-2 virus first discovered in 2019. The virus spreads when an infected person breathes out droplets that are very small particles that contain the virus. These droplets are particles that can uh, be breathed in and um, other people or uh, it can land on their eyes, nose, and mouth. In certain circumstances, they may contaminate surfaces that um, they touch. If you have a pre-existing condition, such as a heart attack or anything like that, COVID can be uh, uh, a situation that, um, that people have to deal with. So, um, and it also depends on your age. Symptoms and treatment for COVID. Um, the health department um, of Vermont recommends getting tested if you are developing symptoms at any time. Um, people with COVID may have a wide range of symptoms, including no symptoms at all, mild, moderate symptoms, or needing medical attention for severe illness. And even no symptoms at all can spread the virus to others. Symptoms can start 2 to 14 days after exposure <clears throat> to the virus. That might include 100.4 or higher fever, cough, shortness of breath, difficulty breathing, chills, fatigue, muscle or body aches, Headache, sore throat, n no loss uh, or new loss or, or taste or smell, nausea and vomiting, diarrhea. Now, um, if you test positive, if you're a person with a disability who tests positive um, for COVID-19, um, you must isolate yourself as soon as as possible and receive your test result, even if you are vaccinated or never have symptoms. Isolation may mean staying home or staying away from other people at least for five days from the date of your positive test result or you start your symptoms, whichever is earlier. You can end isolation after the five-day mark. If your symptoms have improved and you have no fever for at least 24 hours and the use of medicine uh, can reduce fevers. The guidance does not apply to care workers. Please check with your employer, school, child care program, or um, or learn about the return and isolation policies. <clears throat> Sorry. If you are not able to isolate because of financial care, uh, 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 sorry, if you're not able to isolate because of financial care or other reasons, you can still lower the risk by getting other, by not getting people sick. Wearing a well-fitted, in other words, if you have to go to work and you can't stay home, wear a well-fitted um, 
quality mask or disposable mask under a cloth mask. Limiting close contact with other people as possible. Washing your hands with soap and water or use of hand sanitizer. Cleaning and disinfecting, uh, uh, disinfecting surfaces as much as possible. And um, all of that. Guidance for close contact. Close contact means six feet or 15 minutes um, over a 24 hour period of someone with COVID while they're contagious. To determine if you were in close contact, consider time spent with someone with COVID starting two days before they develop symptoms or date they tested positive. If no symptoms until they started isolation. The health department recommends getting tested if you develop symptoms at any time. Even if you're if you are vaccinated or have recently uh, have had COVID-19. If you do not have symptoms or been in close contact with someone with COVID-19, it is recommended to test five full days after the COVID exposure. If, uh, if you use a home antigen test and result in a negative test 48 hours again, if you, oh, let me repeat that. If you use a home test and and the result is negative, test again 48 hours later. If you have a PCR or LAMP test, L-A-M-P test, follow-up test is needed. The guidance does not apply to healthcare workers. Treatment for COVID-19. Some people are likely to get very sick from COVID. If you are age 50 or older and have a medical condition, they, um, that might put you at risk. Reach out to your Department of Health health care provider about um, treatment as soon as possible of the positive test result. Don't delay. Um, treatment may, must be started within days before you develop the symptoms to be active. People who are higher risk and speak to their doctor should get treatment um, if vaccinated or experienced. <laughs> Experience, sorry, experience mild symptoms by getting treatment. You could have less serious symptoms and may lower your chance of illness uh, getting worse and needing health care in the hospital. Um, for more information, you can go to www.healthvermont.gov. That uh, website, once again, is healthvermont.gov. Gov. Um, oh, if you have, if you need help with American Sign Language or other um, languages, you can go down here to the Department of Health, um, which is healthvermont.gov. Um, it's in the following languages, American Sign Language, Arabic, uh, Burmese, Dari, uh, French. Uh, Nepali, uh, Spanish, and Swahili, and other uh, uh, and other languages. Um, <clears throat> and there are COVID fact sheets here in different languages if you need. Okay, uh, so that's www.healthvermont.gov. That's www.healthvermont.gov. And there are other, um, there's a 
link here, www.covid.gov, um, and you can get, um, if you are in another country, you can search for your country, um, and, uh, and you can get the languages. Now, it says here on covid.gov, uh, www.covid.gov, wear a mask to protect yourself and others when you go indoors, especially in hospitals. Free a N95 masks are available in many local pharmacies, healthcare providers. Please check your local area. Um, and also vaccines. Being fully vaccinated um, and boosted is the best way to protect from any hospitalizations. Everyone that is age five and up, <clears throat> age five and up, is eligible for new vaccines that um, have been updated to restore protection um, target against the Omicron variant. Uh, uh, the Omicron variant. Please find. Uh, www.covid.gov with more information um, on this and other types of things when it comes to um, at-home testing. The latest guidance used uh, at home test uh, and what to do at, with the results to get a home test. Uh, you can log on here, symptoms of care, if you're immune compromised, um, so let's go to that resource that's important. Okay, so if you have the following situation and COVID, I'm not gonna read this whole thing. People with certain medical conditions, um, <clears throat> If you are a family member at high risk with severe illness, wear a mask or respirator with greater protection in, with the public indoor spaces in your area. Um, if you have um, COVID and in the hospital, you can click here. At, um, and it, this brings you to the CDC uh, website as well. Um, and, and, and you can get more information. Talk to your healthcare provider about wearing a mask uh, in the medium of COVID and hospital admissions. Uh, if you have symptoms, if you have symptoms that are constant with COVID um, and you're age 50 years or older, uh, and you're at high risk of getting very sick, you may be eligible for treatment. Contact your health care provider to start this treatment within a couple of days. Um, now, one last thing. I'm going to go here. Underlying medical conditions associated with high risk uh, with uh, COVID and other uh, information for health care professionals. Um, there's an updated list with health conditions. Um, so let's go here. This web page, or this information I'm giving you, provides evidence-based resources for healthcare professionals. Um, so it depends on your age. You can click and find more. Um, so if you have and it gives you a listing on this web page about uh, asthma, uh, cancer, uh, cardiovascular problems, chronic kidney disease, so on and so forth, diabetes, um, and also uh, if you have Down syndrome and other disabilities. Um, you can uh, find, yeah, disabilities including Down syndrome. Um, people with, with other situations should consult the CDC. Uh, go to www.cdc.gov. 
the Centers for Disease Control, www.cdc.gov. Um, please wear a mask uh, during these such conditions. Uh, for more information on that, please uh, go to the CDC and find out about the N95. Most public buildings now, if you want to wear a mask, you can. Uh, it's extremely important to be careful when coming in close contact with someone who has COVID, such as someone in a hospital or a nursing home. This has been the COVID update for 2024. I'm Lauren Seiler. Uh, Arlene is not here today. She's recuperating in rehab. See you next time on the next edition of Able Den On Air. Major sponsors for Able Den On Air include Washington County Mental Health, where hope and support come together. Media sponsors for Able Den On Air include Parkchester Times, Muslim Community Report, www.thisisthebronx.info, Associated Press Media Editors, New York Parrot Online Newspaper, U.S. Press Corps Domestic and International, Anchor FM, and Spotify. Partners for Able Den On Air include Yihad of New York and New England, where everyone belongs, the Orthodox Union, the Division for the Blind and Visually Impaired of Vermont, the Vermont Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired, Central Vermont Habitat for Humanity, Montefiore Medical Center of the Bronx, Rose F. Kennedy Center of Bronx, New York, Albert Einstein College of Medicine of the Bronx. Able Den On Air has been seen in the following publications. Parchester Times, www.thisisthebronx.com, New York Pirate Online Newspaper, Muslim Community Report, www.h.com, and the Montpelier Bridge. Able Den On Air, is part of the following organizations. The National Academy of Television, Arts, and Sciences, Boston, New England chapter, and the Society of Professional Journalists.